It's me. Today's video is on something that's, well, it's not that exciting, but uh, it's very necessary. We're gonna do a video on crossfades in Reason. So the way crossfades work in Reason is a little different than in other programs, and I just gotta show you real quick. So let's get to it. So here we have a track I was working on where I needed to use some crossfades. Uh, actually, what gave me the idea to teach you guys how to do them because it's kind of weird the way it works. So this is the part. So, we all know those parts. Um, so, as the kicks got faster, um, even before they got faster, they needed some fades. But as they got faster and closer, they needed cross fades. So, let me show you why and how. So, let me just duplicate this track. And then I'll get rid of all that, mute all these. Uh, I just highlighted them and pressed M on my keyboard to mute them. Uh, I will solo it here, unsolo it there. I'll take out the fades that I already added here. Zero. Now that kick sounds like this. Okay, sounds fine. So we'll start make, redoing the same pattern. Uh, eighths, is that right? Yeah. So I'm holding Alt and copying these over. Let me make sure my buffer size is good. There we go. I always need a bigger buffer size when I'm streaming. Or not streaming, but recording. You get it. So we're just making the same pattern, and we're gonna see what it sounds like with no fades. So, let me zoom in a bit. Oops, that's the wrong way. So these now need to get like this, and then, is that right? No. Duplicate, 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 duplicate. Mm-hmm. And then we duplicate that one, make it a little bit smaller. Duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Let's change the snap to even smaller. 1 16th, I believe. Nope, we gotta duplicate and then shrink and then duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. One more. Okay, so that's our little build up. And let's hear, we can skip just to here. Let's listen to this really quick. Ah. So you can hear, you can really hear it at the end here. So these guys, these 30 second notes, you hear them clicking. And what that is is either I cut, in this case it's probably because I cut the, the kick while there was still kick playing. Um, so basically, here if we zoom in, it's kind of hard to describe. But you see how the kick doesn't finish, it doesn't get to the tail and then the next kick comes in, so it just, it just abruptly changes amplitude, so it, it clicks. Um, sometimes this happens at the end of your regions as well, but if it's just one region, you just do the fade in, you use the, these right here, fade in, fade out. But if it's region stacked on regions, that won't work, because if you did that with all of these, you'll lose your kick. So here, we'll just do it real quick. Here, we'll just do it on these end ones. If 
if I were to add a fade in, my typical fade in and fade out situation, I usually do it just like that. Then you'll hear the, uh, the kick kind of like dips out, it disappears. Like, that's not what you want. So, what you want to do is use crossfades. So, the way to do that in Reason is to highlight what you want to start using crossfades on. So, these guys that are touching each other, that are together. So, what a crossfade does is it, you know, lowers the volume of the one that's going out while increasing the volume of the one that's going in. That's making a cross pattern. Um, so, and it's quick and it's meant to be undetectable. So here we go. So if we, the first step we do highlight the ones that are touching each other, the ones that are clicky, we're going to do the whole line just to make sure it's clean. And then you join them by pressing command J. Now they're not really joined. If you double click on that region, they're still actually separate regions. You see, that's the first kick. That's the second one. It kind of spreads them out like this in sort of a comp edit mode. Now, we'll actually get to what comp editing is some, at some point in this channel when we, when we do vocals, but that's kind of what this is. So what you do, select all by pressing Command A, zoom in, and you see these handles at the top? This, the, each handle, is where the two regions meet. So just above the handle, there's a little arrow, and that's crossfade. And you can see, if you look here, you can see this is volume going down, and this is an overlapping volume going up on the next region. So you just give it a little crossfade, something like that. And now let's listen. Boom, it sounded like that last one actually needed, oh hey, how's it going? It sounded like that last one, sorry, they're painting my bathroom. Uh, it sounded like that last one actually needs a fade out now because you heard it click. Can't have that. So let's just add my typical fade. Boom. And then it's gone. So that's pretty much it. I mean, there's not much more to it than that. Um, join the regions that are touching each other. Uh, zoom in Command A to select all their handles. Zoom in, throw a little fade, get rid of the clicks. I suggest you do this on all your regions that are butted up against each other. You know, make, as you're arranging, make, you know, you're making eight bar loops or you're making four bar loops. Just take that whole four bar section of, let's say, hi-hats that you stack together. Just take that whole thing, join it, make some crossfades, boom. And then take that whole region, add a fade in, a fade out so that it's clean. And then, you know, arrange with that. Do you know what I mean? If you found any value out of this video, please do subscribe and click the bell beneath. And uh, I really do appreciate you watching. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. Peace.